Hello everyone, this is Rosenkohler from Valotex team and today I will show you how to install your package and set it up in Salesforce. So first of all, you have to go to our website, valotex.io, then you can go to resources and then to help articles. Here we have different documents like functional documents or setup documents. You can go and click on Valotex setup and configuration. And here you will be able to see that we have different links so you have to go with the production link and by clicking it, it will take you to this page. So here you can install it for admins only, the package. You can install for all users or install for a specific profile. This process will normally take from 10 to 15 minutes and you'll receive an email confirmation as well that you have your package has been upgraded. And after that, we can go to Salesforce and set up everything. Hello again, guys. So this is how it will look once it's upgraded. So if you click done, it should take you to one page where you will be able to see the package that has been installed. So yeah, you can see the latest one over here. So now we can go to the Salesforce and we can go to value text setup. So here we have different things that we have to set up. The first one is you have to set up the country to which you're gonna be sending messages to. So here you can either leave it to all countries and you can, or you can choose the specific country that you want to send messages to. And then you can ignore all the rest over here and click update. The next step is the sign in. By the way, here you have to have a Valotext account. So if you don't have one, don't worry. You just have to go to the website, click on login, and here you have the option to register. So here you can uh, put your full name, username, email ID, and you can select your country as well. And then you can go back and put your username and your password. After that, you hit submit and it's all good to continue with step three. So here we have to generate a secret key. If this is the first time you will have to generate it. If no, you can just simply refresh the secret key. It is all good to leave it like this. The next step will be to enable alt to receive inbound messages. So in this case, we're gonna be enabled it for production. So you can click over here. I think it will ask us to log in in our account. Yeah. So yeah, here we just click this button and it will enable it. Then we can go back and continue with the next steps. So here we have the channel routing default settings. So you can leave your preferred channel one to be WhatsApp, the two to be SMS. And if you like the third one, you can make it Telegram. So by the way here, what we use this for is, let's say that we want to send a WhatsApp message and the person for any reason doesn't receive the WhatsApp message. He's not using WhatsApp, let's say. An SMS will be sent automatically. And if the SMS is not delivered for any reason, we can set it up to send the Telegram message. So this is one way we make sure that our customers are always receiving our messages. So you can set up those preferred channels over here and then click update. And the next step is because this will be a trial version that you're going to be doing right now. Uh, you have to verify the phone number so you can put the phone number over here and get uh, generate OTP. It is a simple code that you have to type it back in. And then, yeah, by the way, for this feature, for this step, if you are, if you upgrade your account, you just have to ignore it. But in this case, the trial version, you have to complete this step. So our next step will be to send our first message. So let's go to the contacts. For example, you can go to any object. This is my contact over here. So here we have to add the mini chat console to be able to send our message. You go to the settings over here and click edit page. It is pretty simple process. We just have to drag and drop it. Very simple, no coding needed. 
you just go to custom managed and go to chat window whatsapp and sms now we're gonna drag it and drop it over here you can drop it wherever you like i just prefer to be there and now we can click save okay i will go back to show you how to execute a message come on <laughs> okay so here you'll be able to see the mini chat console in a second it has many advanced features here you can see the full history with this person in here so um we can use templates in this case if you want to activate a whatsapp session the first message has to be a whatsapp approved template just like this you can you just show in a second yeah, you can see welcome to value text, some other information as well. And you can click send it to execute the message. When the person replies on the other side, it will activate the session. Another way to activate the session is if the customer initiates the conversation first, it will, act it will activate the session. So you're all good to continue texting with this person. So this is pretty much all of it, guys. If you have any questions, let us know. We have customer support that is 24 seven. You can reach out to the customer support on our website, or you can just send us an email. We would love to help. Thank you for your time, guys.